Hey guys, John Williams here with another edition of Urban Stories. Today I sit down with a national icon in the real estate space. Someone who in a past life was heavily involved in the underworld, was a drug dealer and a steroid abusing standover guy. From all that to now one of the most respected industry professionals in the game who inspires so many people across the country. We are of course talking about Matt Steinway. So Matt, thanks for having us. That's right, thanks John. Um, so I want to talk a bit about the backstory uh, to you. Um, yeah. You obviously were connected to the underworld. You were a, um, a steroid abusing standover guy, if I can say that. Yeah. Um, you were on Australia's most wanted list. Um, how did all of that kind of backstory shape where you are today? Yeah, well, I think it taught me a lot. I think it actually made me a good salesperson because in the, in the underworld, it's reading people, reading situations sensitive to you know small things that are happening it's actually made me a great negotiator in the underworld uh, like respect is something that you earn over time and it's really taught me a lot about business so like you you have to earn that position of respect in the market it's a weird trust thing as well like in the criminal world trust is a big thing between people and all of those skills have, uh, I operated really well in that sort of thing. And, and in business now, it's like, it's the same. Like if I say it, I'm gonna do it. Because if you say something to a hard, hardened criminal and you look at them in the eyes and say, this is gonna happen, you better deliver. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna, like, something's gonna happen. Yeah. And in business as well, if I say it's gonna be done, it will be done. I know you're big on mindset, on um, you know, energy flow, and visualization of goals, things yeah. like that. How important is mindset to you know, a, a real estate agent? How do you get that across? Because I guess it can be missed a lot. So where your mind actually focuses will determine on how you feel. Mm race car driver you look at the wall you crash into the wall whereas I think to myself is how do I take care of people better so you are a business owner in a successful McGrath agency in Terrigal correct yeah. north of Sydney um, now clearly there's there's major disruption happening around the world in terms of technology and you know the, the platforms we all operate are changing um, how concerned do you think we should be uh, in the Australian real estate market yeah I, I love the shift it's like um you know, taxi drivers complain about Uber. Well, do you go join Uber? You know, if that's what they want. Like, don't whinge about it, change with it. One influencer or, or a mentor that's really had a, a big impact in your professional career, who, who would that be? Time in a season, John McGrath, many, many, many years, still today, mm. fantastic. Gary V, online. Happiness obviously means many different things to lots of different people. Um, what ultimately, what's the end game for Matt Steinway? Where, where do you see yourself in five or 10 years? Still doing what I'm doing. It's like I, my kids are my focus. So like yeah. uh, six kids, um, being really engaged, doesn't mean I'm there like a house dad, but being really engaged in their lives is probably my happy driver now. Yeah. Surfing with Logan in the morning, my son, watching Phoenix play rugby, all of these sorts of things. Um, yeah, that's my happy, that's the happiness to me. One last question, broccoli. Broccoli. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah, you <laughs> right. still got a job. Broccoli's broccoli, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> broccoli's great. He's, um, the thing I like about broccoli, he's young, but he's very committed. He, work, he walks at a different beat. Broccoli's fast is probably my almost standing still, but his care factor is amazing. Watch that space of broccoli. He's gonna end up something really good one day. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Matt, thanks for your time. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate Thank it, you, thanks, mate. mate.